Whether you're learning a language, improving your communication skills, or practicing a new skill, virtual reality and the metaverse have the potential to completely revolutionize how people learn, train, and perform. In today's video, I'm going to look at six ways that we can use virtual reality in education, and I'm going to include a bonus at the end looking at how you can create your own educational content in the metaverse. So if the metaverse and learning interests you, do hit that subscribe button, and I'm going to grab my Oculus Quest 2 headset and jump right in. So in my opinion, power skills like leadership, communication, and empathy are some of the most important and impactful skills that you can learn and improve, whether you're at school or an executive at a large corporate. Don't believe me? Just look at this list from LinkedIn's Workplace Learning Report that surveyed learning and development professionals globally on the most important skills that people in any industry need to possess to advance in their careers. Skills like adaptability, emotional intelligence, team collaboration, mindfulness, and time management are all what we know as power or soft skills, and they're usually learned on the job pretty sporadically, all from things like lectures or role play scenarios, which just aren't that realistic. When I trained as a surgeon, soft skills were vital, from communicating with patients to leading diverse teams in the operating theater. The problem with traditional teaching is that even with role plays using actors or simulated teamwork scenarios, it's very difficult collecting any actionable data on what good soft skills actually look like. Typically, teachers will subjectively feedback and suggest to learners that they make changes in their tone, how they structure what they're saying, or by switching up their body language. The issue here is that everyone has developed their own way of communicating, and there are lots of variables here, from accent to confidence levels and empathy, and there really isn't a gold standard. So people rely on mimicking what they see in work or from around their social group to help them develop their own communication style. In virtual reality, you can be placed into virtual role play scenarios that can be accessed on demand. From learning how to deal with a bully at school to understanding how to develop empathy for someone at work or even just practicing your public speaking skills in a safe, repeatable space, the metaverse has the unique ability to immerse people into what can be quite emotionally charged scenarios. Learners can then make decisions and practice communicating just like in real life, but without the repercussions of making a bad choice. Importantly, virtual reality allows the learner to be put into the position of others within these simulated scenarios to help develop empathy and identify any hidden biases they might have. For example, learners can be put into a VR scenario that simulate what it's like to be on the other end of discriminatory behavior to help them to understand what it might be like for people from different backgrounds. This helps to drive empathy and creates lasting behavior change where more passive learning methods such as PowerPoint lectures or e-learning are much more passive and less impactful. Because the power skill scenarios happen digitally, learner responses can be captured and headsets with eye tracking and biometric data capture can track everything from decision-making to eye contact and team-based communication. This allows soft skills like communication or leadership to be fed back to the learner in a much more objective way so that people can see how they compare to a gold standard and others rather than just learning subjectively based on what they would see at school or in work or from subjective feedback from teachers. For teachers and L&D professionals, VR soft skills training removes the need for paying expensive role play actors and provides a gamified way to engage people at scale to help learners develop some of the most important skills out there that will improve their lives and career prospects. The majority of VR headsets like the Oculus Quest 2 come with handheld controllers as default, and there is quite a bit of work being done on hand tracking. This means that any technical skill lends itself to repeated practice in the metaverse, where previously getting in reps of a practical technique could require the learner to have access to specific equipment. Take, for example, a skill like learning to play the piano. You'd need access to a piano and a piano teacher, or you might use a piano app on an iPad, which isn't quite as realistic as the real thing. With virtual reality, you can be transported into your own virtual piano lesson, or even put on stage at a piano recital in front of an audience to build engagement and confidence. Lessons can be automated and feedback can be very data-driven as hand or controller movement can be tracked. If you do want a piano teacher to join you, maybe they could jump in as an avatar in real time and talk to you in the shared environment, offering tips while they're actually at home in a completely different part of the world. 
The metaverse is also great for skills that are infrequently practiced, but which are important and could be hazardous when done in real life. Take for example how to perform CPR or life-saving resuscitation. There's evidence to show that performing CPR correctly outside of hospital for patients who have sudden onset cardiac arrests can save lives. CPR training is regularly taught in schools and in workplaces and hospitals using mannequins, but this might not prepare people for the stress and emotion of actually performing CPR in real life when it matters. VR can help to recreate this stress and emotion and then let people practice the technical steps under pressure to build muscle memory. From everything for calling for help and starting chest compressions at the correct depth and cadence to improving confidence to perform CPR in real life. Because new environments can be quickly and easily built in the metaverse, specific scenarios such as performing CPR on an airplane could add extra dimension and usefulness for industries such as aviation. Pretty much any practical skill can be translated into a VR scenario. From changing a tyre to performing a surgical procedure or sinking that winning putt in a golf tournament. The main limitations on technical skills are the lack of true haptic feedback. For example, when performing an operation, you need to be able to actually hold certain tools in a certain way and feel the different tissue layers as you perform action. Controller tech and sensory feedback isn't quite there yet, although companies like Haptex are working on it. Now everyone has been on a school field trip to a museum, but how much more exciting would it be if you were actually transported to ancient Rome or Egypt and immersed into the sights and sounds of an ancient civilization? This is one of the big pushes Mark Zuckerberg is making with his company Meta. Whether jumping in solo or as part of a shared group field trip, actually being able to interact and see what life was like for people throughout history will bring added perspective and drive engagement and learning retention. For schools, it also means a reduction in the cost of field trips and hopefully fewer concerns about losing a student. What else could we be forgetting? Kevin! And virtual trips aren't just about school students. Imagine learning a language and being transported into that culture. One of the best ways to learn a new dialect is to spend time in that country. And the metaverse can do that without the cost of any airline tickets or hotels. Learners can speak with avatars or they can jump into a shared space and practice with language teachers or with native speakers who might be at home in their own countries. In addition to hopping between countries and time periods, the space and scale provided by virtual reality also allows for learners to be transported to completely inaccessible locations such as the surface of a new planet or a zoomed out view of a solar system. By providing learners with more context, interactivity and engaging visuals, learners of all ages can suddenly get an idea of what it might be like to be an astronaut on a space station. NASA and National Geographic have some amazing 360 video and computer generated experiences you can hop into right now to check this out for yourself. Traditional e-learning stats from LinkedIn have shown that learners who interact socially by sharing content, participating in QA discussions, and learning groups are way more engaged, spending upwards of 30 times more hours of learning than those who don't. The metaverse is able to bring people together in shared spaces while avoiding the impersonal webcam view used by MS Teams and Zoom, where actual participation is limited and class sizes mean that learners can't interact and engage that effectively. Live events are an important part of education and social interaction adds accountability as well as providing shared learning experiences which learners naturally want to talk about and reflect on to help boost their understanding. We've seen games like Fortnite bring people together for shared concerts and gaming events that drive excitement and attention when everyone is vying for people's time and attention with so many accessible digital distractions. Whether it's a virtual conference where you can watch keynotes and communicate with learners like in Second Life or Altspace, or you just want to get a small group of learners around a virtual whiteboard they can write on like in Half-Life Alex, the metaverse provides a more engaging way to connect and learn than Zoom and other video-based solutions. For corporates, collaboration tools are already in use by car manufacturers and architects to help visualize early design blueprints and prototypes and allow team members to join from anywhere in the world and walk around and visualize 3D designs in a much more meaningful way. With many high-performing teams composed of people from different backgrounds and who speak different languages, being able to actually visualize and interact with what the team is building can help improve communication, speed up development time, as well as reducing the carbon footprint made by flying teams to a real physical location.
Both mental and physical health are vital for us to form new memories and learn new things. And as we've seen from LinkedIn's annual workplace survey, building resilience and learning how to practice mindfulness are some of the most desirable traits for the workforce of the future. Learning how to practice mindfulness and deal with the stresses of life usually means attending a physical mindfulness or meditation class or using an app like Calm to form habits. While audio mindfulness apps are great, the immersive nature of virtual reality means that you can be transported to a relaxing environment or taken on a computer-generated virtual trip to help you relax even more. One of the benefits of VR is that the headsets block out the real world, meaning that your senses are tricked into thinking you're actually in a tranquil field or by the ocean as a mindfulness track plays. The same goes for fitness. Games like Beat Saber have shown that you can work up a sweat in the metaverse and Meta's fitness tracking tools encourage people of all ages to learn skills like boxing or rhythmic movements to improve their health in a fun, gamified way. For people just getting started with fitness or exploring new sports, VR offers a low barrier to entry with no kit required and no significant commitment to attending a class, allowing people to experience what sports and exercises are like in a safe environment free from judgment. Some are really realistic too. Just check out The Climb to see how it tricks your brain into thinking you're actually scaling a mountain, or any table tennis game to be wowed by how lifelike the physics actually are. Another great skill making LinkedIn Workplace desirable skill list is creativity. Creativity is vital to solving problems and is also important as an outlet to counter work stresses. The metaverse is a great way to introduce learners to art and creativity as there are lots of artists using VR to create 3D art and interactive worlds that can be explored. Experiences like Van Gogh's The Night Cafe even allow you to be immersed into moving paintings to stimulate art and creativity. Apps like Tilt Brush, Gravity Sketch and Sculpt VR put you in creative control and allow you to sketch and create your own virtual art in 3D from the comfort of your headset. The space and scale of virtual reality opens learners' minds to new possibilities and the plethora of escape rooms and puzzle games helps people to develop creative thinking strategies which they can then apply in the real world. Now for educators, it can be a little bit tricky figuring out where to start if you want to create your own immersive training or run a lesson in the metaverse. So hopefully this bonus tip will help you out. I'll dive into this in a longer video, but as a final bonus tip, there are a few really accessible creation tools you might want to check out. If you're looking to bring elements of the real world into the metaverse, the most accessible place to start is probably 360 video. You'll need a 360 camera like those from Insta360, and you can record pretty much anything from a surgical procedure to a live role play. You can then upload this to most video hosting platforms, including YouTube, and learners can then view in a headset using the YouTube app. If you want to add interactivity, there are a bunch of great platforms out there where you can create more advanced branching videos and add quiz questions to make 360 video even more interactive and engaging for learners. If you're looking to create a more shared discussion or meeting space, apps like Altspace or Horizons allow you to create immersive worlds where learners can meet and learn together. My company Verti specializes in soft skills in the metaverse, and we've built out a no-code creation system where you can quickly create virtual role plays, change avatars and locations, all without needing to code anything. For anyone looking for more advanced virtual reality creation, you'll need to dive into some tools like Unity or Unreal, the game engines which power the metaverse, and see what you can create. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. You might want to check out my other videos in the metaverse series, which we'll put up here. Thanks so much for being a subscriber. Do hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video, and let me know what your favorite VR apps are in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.